What if I told you the next tech gold rush is in crypto, is in GPUs, and isn't even generative AI itself? It's the thing that connects all of these AI systems together. I'm talking about MCP, Model Context Protocol, the universal connector that's quietly becoming the backbone of the AI agent revolution. It's the new USB-C standard for AI, but most people have no idea how to capitalize on protocol standardization because big events like these are not that common. Standardization creates gold rushes. When TCP IP unified the internet, it birthed the giants like Google and Amazon. Amazon. When USB-C standardized hardware, a multi-billion dollar peripheral market exploded. But these opportunities aren't obvious until they're mainstream, so MCP could create the same wealth explosion for AI, unlocking a flood of new apps, tools, and services for those who move early. But what exactly does MCP do? MCP solves fragmentation. It standardizes how AI applications interact with the external system in three primary ways, prompts, tools, and resources. But fragmentation isn't just an inconvenience, it's actually the biggest barrier to scaling AI applications to do more real-world practical tasks. So MCP's standardization approach removes this fundamental bottleneck. Let's say you wanted to have an LLM summarize a podcast on YouTube and send an email for your newsletter business. Before MCP, you'd need custom integrations for fetching the transcripts and sending emails. Each connection, a complex, messy web of one-off solutions. You might try existing AI agents framework, but each creates its own problems. Vendor lock-in with crew AI and flexibility with Langchain Llama Index or maintenance headaches with custom solutions. So MCP standardizes all of this into a plug-and-play approach, kind of like Legos. Write an MCP server once, and it'll work with any MCP client, namely Cursor, Client, WindServe, Cloud Desktop, and many more. I've personally been using a YouTube transcript MCP server to easily fetch and summarize transcripts of videos I want to learn from. I've been using it with Cloud Desktop, and it's been a huge time saver. But this simple use case barely scratches the surface of what's possible. Here are a couple of agent patterns from Anthropic that brings together different MCP MCP servers to do different things. MCP servers could each be doing things like searching the web for sources, generating ad creatives, fetching last quarter sales from a database, pulling payment data from Stripe, and so much more. The team behind Claude has worked with dozens of teams building LM agents across industries. Consistently, they have noticed the most successful implementations use simple, composable patterns rather than complex frameworks. By the way, I have an AI builder community of people wanting to learn AI, build agents, and share findings in order to 10x their workflows automate their task and meet other like-minded people. So you might say, isn't MCP just a trend that will die down? So let's look at the evidence. Major companies like Stripe, Zapier, Cloudflare, and Ram Financials have already released their MCPs with other big names rumored to be working with Anthropic. Real businesses are betting on this. So let me show you the larger ecosystem that's forming. In terms of adoption, there are already way more than a thousand community-built MCP servers, but that's just the beginning of the adoption curve. So there's this company, 21st Step, already monetized MCP servers for UI content in tools like Cursor and Windsor, proving there is real commercial demand right now. But you might ask, why are we not just using APIs instead? Well, MCP is similar to Swagger or OpenAPI for HTTP APIs, but specialized for LLM tool calls. So APIs already exist for connecting systems to AI agents, but in practice, every API has its own unique format, documentation, and authentication method, creating a massive integration headache for developers. So an MCP server also broadcasts a set of offered tools for agents LLMs, including textual descriptions and parameter descriptions. We're entering the age of agents in AI and everyone building an agent system is realizing that implementing tools for agents is redundant work. Otherwise, every team working on agents with a web browser use case would have to reinvent the wheel and re-implement various basic tools like clicking, typing, finding UI elements, controls, and so on. So MCP steps in as the universal translator, dramatically reducing this friction. Look at Cursor. They made it easier to implement AI suggestions in your code. But that was just one specific workflow improvement, having to switch Windows to copy-paste the code changes from ChatGPT. So what happened? They exploded from 1 million to 100 million ARR in just 12 months, proving the enormous value of reducing friction between AI and external systems. The network effect of MCP reminds me of what happened with SQL and databases. Back in the day, every database vendor had their own proprietary query language. But this fragmentation created massive inefficiencies, vendor lock-in, and pay painful migration processes. So the industry converged on SQL as a standard and the results were transformative. Once SQL became the standard, you could learn one language and work with any database, your applications became portable between vendors, a massive ecosystem of tools emerged around the standard. Many people have heard about MCP, but most don't recognize the massive business opportunities it's creating. One of them is specialized MCP servers. Companies like 21st Dev spotted this opportunity early. They built a specialized MCP for generating UI components that 
integrates with coding assistants like Cursor and Windsurf, but they didn't have to create an AI assistant from scratch, so they focused on packaging their UI design expertise in a way that AI agents could access. And now developers pay premium prices for this capability because it saves them hours of work. Appify took a different approach with their web scraping technology. They wrapped their technology in an MCP server, instantly creating a new distribution channel for their existing product. The key insight, most people think you need deep AI expertise to profit from MCP, but the real opportunity is in domain expertise. Finance, marketing, healthcare, e-commerce. So if you're an expert in any field, you can build an MCP server that packages that expertise for AI consumption. MCP marketplaces and discovery. We're already seeing directories like Gamma and Smithery where users can find MCP servers, but these are just basic listings without the sophisticated features that drove App Store success. So there's a massive opportunity to build the true App Store of the MCP ecosystem with ratings, reviews, curation, and a monetization infrastructure. The iOS App Store generates over 85 billion annually, but it took years to reach that scale. So getting in now on MCP marketplaces positions you to capture value as they become primary distribution channel for AI capabilities. Enterprise MCP infrastructure. Large companies are eager to adopt AI agents for productivity gains, but enterprise requirements for security, compliance, and governance make this challenging. So there will be a growing demand for enterprise-grade MCP infrastructure with proper authentication, auditing, and data control. The opportunity is clear, so building the Okta for MCP, a platform that helps enterprise manage their MCP ecosystem securely, MCP development tools. The MCP ecosystem is growing rapidly, but the development experience is still primitive compared to mature ecosystems like web or mobile. So there is a golden opportunity to create what Vercel did for front-end development or MongoDB did for databases, but for MCP. Current MCP development involves a lot of boilerplate code and manual infrastructure work, but developers hate unnecessary complexity. So tools that simplify development, handle deployment, and provide analytics will become essential infrastructure as the ecosystem matures. If you found this valuable, hit like and subscribe and share this with someone you think might enjoy this. By the way, I have an AI builder community of people wanting to learn AI, build AI agents, and share their findings in order to 10x their workflow, automate their tasks, and meet other like-minded people. If you're interested in building with AI, you should check this out.